Okay, hello everyone. I'm Mr. Shames. This is US2 History. Uh, it's September 19th. You guys all know the drill. This is your do now period. Everybody sit down, do the do now. Take a few minutes. Number one, create three assessment questions from the previous lesson on the Spanish-American War for peer review. You guys should know this information. We just finished. You took an assessment on it. You should have it up here, as well as you can utilize the Google Slides or your notes. Uh, number two, how would you describe our current economic relationship with China? What would you guess was our economic relationship with China during the American imperialistic period? We discussed this briefly. We'll be discussing it more in today's lesson as well. You should have some basic content knowledge in regards to this, so get to it. Uh, quickly, today in history, uh, 1893, New Zealand, first self-governing country to give women the right to vote. So that is, come on now, that deserves a clap. Let's go, let's go. Uh, interesting fact, the Philippines has over 7,000 islands. I would not have guessed that. I think it's a pretty crazy fact, and we will be discussing the Philippines in today's lesson. Okay, so take a couple minutes now, complete the do now, and then we'll discuss. Okay. Today's lesson is in regards to problems as a new world power. As I stated in the previous lesson, and we all learned, uh, we just completed the end of the Spanish-American War. America was victorious. We have entered the world stage as a true world power and ended Spain's run of 400 years as a powerful empire. So first we're gonna discuss the Filipino-American War, okay? We, just, we discussed the Filipinos briefly. We purchased the Philippines from Spain. It was a controversial decision. The Filipinos were not happy about being denied their independence. Obviously, who wouldn't, who would be happy? The reality is, is that we purchased it for $20 million from Spain. In the end, we did not grant them their freedom. Emilio Anagualdo, I definitely pronounced that name incorrectly. I apologize for butchering it. I'm gonna do that. If any of you guys can say it for me, that'd be absolutely great. Perfect. Um, led bands of guerrillas against the U.S. after fighting alongside us against the Spanish. Okay. Now I provided a video for you guys, so make sure and pay attention. There's a lot of really good facts in there, stuff that will be on your next assessment. So make sure you pay attention, take notes. We're going to be discussing it. It's over. Okay. Now, watching that video, there was a few different graphic images. Um, obviously, learning that General Perry passed the law that we should be taking any, we should be arresting and persecuting and killing children 10 years and up, families, okay? There was a lot of criminal acts that were committed on the Filipino people by the United States military. Uh, it's a stain. Uh, we court-martialed a few people, but uh, that injustice will never be fully justified. Um, in 1902, after three years and thousands of lives, Americans brutally suppressed the rebellion. So we put this rebellion down, okay? They did not beat us. They did not gain independence in that way. How they did gain independence, and we did touch on this last slide, in 1916, the Jones Act granted the Philippines independence. Make sure I take this down. 1916, the Jones Act. This will be on your next assessment, okay? 